Remembering Theodore Roosevelt, featuring the words of Roosevelt as read by Steve Stark. Theodore Roosevelt created the first national park in North Dakota, one of five national parks added by Roosevelt. The relatively small 780 wooded acres near Devil's Lake suffered a rough start in size, funding, and management. In 1931, the national park designation was rescinded, the park becoming a game refuge under the aegis of the National Wildlife Refuge System. Today, Sully's Hill National Game Preserve has expanded to over 1,600 acres of prairie and woodland as a fascinating and picturesque home to a controlled number of bison and elk, a large herd of roaming deer, and a steady, impressive array of migratory birds. Those daring to make the steep climb up the actual Sully's Hill are treated to one of the state's remarkable views of a memorable nature preserve that Theodore Roosevelt believed in with his every fiber. It will be a real misfortune if our wild animals disappear from mountain, plain, and forest to be found only in game preserves. It is to the interest of all of us to see that there is ample and real protection for our game as for our woodlands. A true democracy really alive to its opportunities will insist upon such game preservation, for it is to the interest of our people as a whole. Conservation and rural life policies are really two sides to the same policy, and at bottom lies the fundamental law that neither man nor nature can prosper unless, in dealing with the present, thought is steadily given to the future. Dakota Datebook is produced in cooperation with the Historical Society of North Dakota. This series with funding from the Theodore Roosevelt Medora Foundation.